Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Elements, we can use the Shape Tools located in the Tools palette to create various vector shapes in our image. When you create a vector shape in an image, it will be created in its own shape layer. Now having familiarized ourselves with how layers and layer masks work earlier in the Elements tutorial, this concept shouldn't be too hard to grasp. When you create a new shape with one of the shape tools, it creates a new shape layer over in the Layers panel, like we see here. The layer is then filled with the currently selected foreground color, although we can specify and change the fill as needed. And then the outline of the shape that is drawn on the layer is actually stored as a linked vector mask that is linked to the layer, restricting the display of the layer to the pattern stored in the linked vector mask. So as such, we can then draw multiple shapes on a single layer, adding to our original shapes drawn on the vector mask for a single layer. You can even determine how overlapping shapes in a single layer are to interact with one another. So to create a new shape layer with a shape in it, click the Shape Tool button over in the Tools palette. It's located right over here underneath the Paint Bucket tool. We'll give it a right click to take a look at the various tools we have. We have the Rectangle tool, the Rounded Rectangle tool, the Ellipse tool, the Polygon tool, the Line tool, the Custom Shape tool that we'll be looking at shortly, as well as our Shape Selection tool. Now depending on which of these tools you choose, you'll have some different choices up in the Options bar up here. So for example, if we select the Rounded Rectangle tool, we can go up and change the radius and this setting determines the rounding of the corners if you've selected the rounded rectangle shape tool. Otherwise you'll see any special options for the currently selected tool in this area. So if we select for example the polygon tool then we can determine the number of sides we want that shape to have. We'll go back and we'll select just the rectangle tool for right now. Now in the next section you can choose what type of interaction you want your shape to have with the shape layer. There are several buttons here. Remember you can hold your mouse pointer over these buttons and a screen tip will appear telling you which, what the name is for each of these. You can select new shape layer which is the first choice and that will have the shape that you draw in the image appear in a new layer as an attached vector mask. After that, you can click the Add to Shape Layer button to allow the shape that you draw to add its outline to the vector mask attached to the layer currently selected in the Layers panel. Just like that. We'll go ahead and undo it. Third choice is Subtract from Shape Area. And if you click this, the shape will be subtracted from the current layer shape vector mask selected in the Layers panel. So we'll go ahead and click that, click and draw, and you'll see what that looks like. We'll undo it. Next choice is to intersect with shape area. That's this one right here. If we give that a click, then the shape that you draw will only display the foreground color in areas where the shape that you draw intersects with other previously drawn shapes in the associated shape layer like that. And again we'll undo. Now if you click the exclude overlapping shape areas, our final choice here, give that one a click, then the foreground color will display in the non-overlapping areas of shapes that overlap in the shape layer. Like that. Now the color text box is next and of course that will launch the color picker dialog box that we've seen before where you can select a foreground color for the shape layer when you create the shape. Go ahead and click cancel. You can also use the style drop down to apply a layer style that will then appear as the foreground fill for the selected shape layer. We have all sorts of different choices. Pick one, click out of there. Now after you're done with that 
and you've made your choices, to draw the shape, all you need to do is just click and drag to create a new shape. Like that. So you can go back and choose a different shape if you like, change any options you like, and you can see all the different types of effects that you can create using the shapes. Now when you do this and you create your shape, if you've selected the new shape layer option, the shape will appear as a new shape layer with an associated vector mask over in the layers panel over here. Otherwise, it's going to interact with the current layer selected in the layers panel in the way prescribed by the options that you set up in the options bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.